Now I would strongly recommend you do this one at a time. Don't cross over. Just do one square. Just this, use this square. Even hide it up for the moment because we're just concentrating on this one. And what we've got to do now is to work at the same idea. Come, up, come from the edges. About there. And bring it across. Remember, we're looking one small reference area. It just tickles into that area there, but it comes away. And see how small that eye is now. You wouldn't have credited that, would you? That it was as small as that. And that goes into the next square, which we'll do separately. But this is what we're looking for at the moment. Come in with that. Just a little higher, you can see I've got to, that's just that little bit more, and you can always adjust the hair. Not that that's important, it's the eye that's important. Drops down like that. The more you get used to this, the better you'll be at it. Now there's a little bit more of a gap there, so come in there once again. Look how narrow that eye is. Right, don't worry about details. What we've got to do now is put the pupil in. And the pupil is there and it comes right onto the edge of that, which is handy for us. So there's our pupil. Okay, now let's move, move it along just one to the next one, which is this one. And we can now follow that through. And that now drops away there and drops away there. Like that, as one eye. And while we're here, let's sort the nose out too, because we've got the nose coming from here. Now, we've got to be careful with noses because you, you don't really want a line, but you've still got to put the line in on the reference. You know, just pull that a little bit further over. So it's a good idea to make it like that, where you have the depth here. I'll show you when we come to transfer this over in a little while, I'll show you how we can make that a little less obvious. It comes down to there and then we have the start of the tip of the nose coming in here and it's just there. And then we have the other section coming there. Like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna, what I'll do now is because it's taken a lot of time up, I'm gonna continue with this and I'll do it square by square by square. And then once I've done that, you then look at, back on it and see whether or not there's any adjustments you can make. But it's so far, it's coming along really well. As you get used to doing this, you can speed up. So that's what I'm going to do at the moment. You can just do a very rough drawing, not as precise as it was before, but you can, and I'm using the HB pencil here because it's not so strong. You can see HB on there uh, as the 2B, but we can still use the 2B in a moment. I'll show you how we come back on this now. Just, just, just rough. Everything's, everything's, you can see, once you start doing this, you can see the, the, the lines and you can see where you need to make small adjustments. Like you see that, that line there breaks right on, very handy for us, right on the little bit of detail in the lip. 
and then come back in here. Now that's, that's pretty good, actually, but now we need to go back over it again. And I'll use my 2B now, because I need to be a little bit more punchy with it. Do this centre line first. See, it's not as much as you think. You always think it's more. You look at that and think, oh, it goes like that, but it doesn't. It's much it's more, more subtle than that. Let's drag into there. Now that's, that's as far as we want to go. And here, remember this is a sketch. I'll show you in a moment. Once we have got all the outlines in, which we nearly have now, um, I'll show you how we transfer all of that through the graphite carbon onto the line drawing. Here, from here, almost to the line, but not quite. Now this is one of the hardest things you can do, the portrait, that's why I've started with this. But you try to do that with freehand and see what sort of mess you get into. There we are, now there we are. There's our picture, just take that off now because we don't need it anymore. And there's our, I've got one or two little things I should do more, but basically there's our drawing. And all we're looking for is an outline drawing at this stage, because the pastel pencil or the watercolour or the oil, whatever you're going to be using, or acrylic, um, you can use the paints to do the rest, but all the while you've got the proportions correct. So let me now show you how we can transfer that onto uh, our drawing surface, which might, in my case, it would be a pastel. Now, with our sketch already, we position it. I put this onto pastel paper because this is the surface I would draw it on. And we want to move it over, over so that we've got the epaulet, you just about see that, epaulet right on the edge of that. So that now is positioned nicely. Tape it again along the top. There we are. Great. And now we use the carbon. This is a graphite carbon. So it can be erased. If you make a mistake, it can be erased. Now you put it carbon side down onto your drawing surface. Pastel paper, watercolour paper, acrylic paper, whatever you've got. And then we're ready to transfer it. And I would, again, I would use the HB pencil for this. Uh, because it's a sharper point. The 2B really isn't um, man enough for the job. It will make too thick a line. So let's get to transfer this. Okay, let's go. Now, what we've got to do is follow the line. That we put in. Remember, it's a line drawing. It's not meant to be a full portrait. So just follow the line round like that. No, I won't do it all. I'll just do that, and then I'll do this this little corner here. Another one is there. Now this is a graphite line, so if if you do make a mistake, it's not irreversible. Now let's put the eye lid in. I come down. And then now I will continue that. The thing I wanted to, to show you though is you don't do that line. Leave that one alone. The reason being, if you were using watercolour or pastel pencils and you put a hard line in there, it's hard to get out. So what do you do when you leave it? Just put in the ones that are going to be obvious, like that. Now let me just pull that off and show you how that is transferred through. Got it? Perfect. Because we can redraw onto that, as I will show you in a minute. Let me finish it off, going over the lines. Then we'll come back and I'll show you how we can go back over these lines again making them just that little bit richer. But bear in mind, if it's a graphite drawing, well then you can probably do a little bit more work on it. But with pastel pencils or watercolour, you don't want these lines to show. So you only want 
the lines that you've indicated on your drawing. Why don't you do that line? Well, that line, you see, would be a hard line coming down there. And it's sometimes hard to get rid of them. So I wouldn't do that. I'd, I'd wait and I'm going to wait until I use my pastel pencil for that. And I'll develop that. But I've got all of the important lines to indicate where that should be. I've transferred all the lines over now. So we can get rid of the line drawing. We can get rid of the carbon. We're left with our image. And we can get rid of the grid on there. So now I'm ready to start pastel paper. Well, to say almost ready, because now what I'm going to do is go over again with my HB pencil. Now, the reason I'm using HB now is rather than the B is because I'm going to use pastel pencils and I don't want the graphite to show and mix with the pastel. So I'm just going to go, now this is a little rougher now, because I now know what I'm doing. I know where my drawing is meant to be. I've already done this little section, so let's just finish this off. Put my little bit of little bit of dress in there, which I've made just a little bit more of than was on the original, because it make it look a little prettier. And I'll finish that off in a minute, but the most important thing is the... line, which is the whole idea of this. And then bring that down there, that's the collar. And we make this just a little bit more arty. That's the hair. Pastel pencils are fantastic because what you can do with them is you can put all the detail in there. Now just go around there. Remember this is graphite. so. If I need to, I'm just make just a little bit more of that and a little bit more of that. Because a little smile there. There we are, and that is fine. Let's just put a little detail on the eye, and then I can show you how this is going to look. And it's all drawn in. Now, I don't think you can argue that that is a very good system of drawing and very quick. I mean, it took me longer than it would normally take you, I'm sure, but because I was showing you how to do it. But there we are. Now, there's the picture, and there's the copy. And even there, you can see that it looks like that. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed that. I've got uh, more to do. I'm not going to do the pastel pencil now, and that will be done another day. But our next picture I'm going to show you will be an animal.